Hello class family, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Miranda and I'm a fourth grade teacher here in the state of Arizona. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use PowerPoint to create worksheets for your classroom. So go ahead and open PowerPoint and then delete the preset text boxes. And now I'm gonna click file and click page setup. The standard size sheet of paper is eight and a half inches by 11. Go ahead and click scale up. And so now you have a standard sheet of paper size. So now I'm just going to add a text box. And then I am going to click the font that I want to use, which is KG Chasing Cars. And then I'm going to set the point to 66 points. And then I am going to type the title of the activity, which is Find a Classmate Who. And then I am just centering the text so that it is in line with the center of the page. And then I'm going to leave enough space from the title so I can add a, another text box where students can write their name. And then the font I'm using is KJ Inimitable Original. I'm going to use a size 20 font. And then I'm going to leave it to a line left. And then I'm going to spread it out a bit so I can add more spaces so students can write their name. And then the good thing about PowerPoint is that you can move the text wherever and it will tell you if you are centered or if it's aligned with another piece of text or another clip art. And then from here, I am going to insert another text box so I can write the instructions of this worksheet. Again, I'm going to center it, use the same font, keep it the same font size of 18, and then I'm just going to write the instructions here. And then from here, I am inserting a 3x5 table. They give you a preset table, so go ahead and highlight it. And then you can look for a preset table that's already made, but I just like to do it myself. So I click no shading, border, and then at the top you can see I already have a four and a half point text size. So now I'm just going to center it, and then I'm going to highlight the entire text box, make sure it's centered, and then I am going to click the font that I would like to use. And then from there, I am set to go. The one step I missed that you will see is that I forgot to change the font color. So go ahead and highlight the entire text box and then click the font color. And then from there, type what you would like to be in each text box. Go ahead and highlight it so that you don't have to write it over and over, copy and paste it into each text box. It makes life much easier. And then from here, I'm just going to speed through what I am writing in each text box. So now that each box is filled, I actually decided to change the font. So here I am just changing the font to kg neatly printed space and then increasing the font size and then that is the final touch for this worksheet now i am going to open up a blank slide and then i am going to be using the same font kg chasing cars centering the text and putting it at a size of 48 this is going to be a writing prompt, so I want to have enough space for a shape and space for the students to be able to write in. So right here, I decided to not have a name space above the title. I am actually going to put it below since this is a writing prompt. So here I am just changing the font, centering it, and putting the text size to 32. And then now I am adding a rounded rectangular shape so that the students are able to draw an image. And then I'm going to change the shape fill and the outline of the shape and making sure that is a four and a half point size font. And now I am using the font Hello Practice. 
and this is just for students to be able to write in the text boxes. And then and now I'm centering it and I am going to center the text. And then it looks a bit clumped up, so I am just extending the title and then I am going to put the shape box above and move the by text in the middle and then that is the end of this worksheet so that is how you create worksheets by using powerpoint if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment down below what your favorite first day of school activity was i know mine were for sure icebreakers because i do not like silence and i really liked getting to know my classmates so thank you again so much for watching my video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, class family.